Good afternoon on what is a cool grey and overcast day. It is Friday, uh, October um, the 8th. I am back in the reading nook um, with um, some parcels and uh, a nice hot cup of tea. Um, and the next parcel I'm going to get go into is this one. Now it's already been opened and I've already um, uh, talked about done an unboxing of several of the items in this little package. So let's open this up once again. So what we've got in here is um, similar. So basically, we've got a series of one shots for Mothership. Now, Mothership is a science fiction so it's a sci-fi horror. Uh, RPG. It's a uh, old school Renaissance style, um, but the centaur based um, science fiction role playing game that takes its inspiration uh, the film Alien uh, and then Aliens and then um, uh, what's it called? Uh, basically, the film Outland um, to present what is blue collar uh, science fiction horror. Uh, by blue collar, I mean essentially that space has become a place where people work. So it's um, it's grim and it's grimy um, and uh, it's dirty and uh, you know you're not there to, like to make great new discoveries or uh, boldly go. You're there to do a job, which might be bringing back um, resources for Earth or actually doing some research or ferrying passengers and the like. Um, so no gleaming, you know, white consoles with blinking lights. Um, and sort of like really plush, sort of like um, uni uh, pajama like uniforms. Um, it's, you know, overalls, heavy boots, um, and uh, yeah, grime under your fingernails. So, so far, I've, I've delved into this pack, this, this little package several times. And so, um, so I have looked at um, the haunting of it's lot 14, terminal delays at um, Ararine's Folly, and the last one was um, Hideo's World. Now these are all colour coded, but let's see what the green one is. We have another one shot, uh, which is, um, let's have a look. Uh, let's look kind of what it said. This is um, um, chromatic transfer. There we go. Another one shot for Mothership. Um, and it is the top secret. Um, Yequeli uh, for research facility was built to study a strange meteorite inside of which was a colour never seen before by human eyes. Due to an accident, the original researchers have long since died, leaving the facility an empty tomb. Um, so, first off, I'm not even looking at it any further. I've just read that paragraph. I'm going, um, is this the colour out of space in space? Is this a Lovecraftian uh, science fiction adventure? Um, who knows? Uh, but... Um, What's interesting about um, the um, chromatic transfer um, and all of these pamphlet um, adventures, these pamphlet one-shots, is the format. Um, pamphlet, but they're trifold pamphlet. So uh, you open up and you've got the contents of the scenario uh, with further background on the reverse. So in this case, obviously, and in the case, you've got um, basically some background for the, ref for the referee, for the GM, and then you open it up uh, and you have um, essentially um, scan show, you've got the, the site, which is okay, all the information you need to run the scenario. So scan show, and then um, on the surface of the asteroid, um, and then inside the black site where the scientists were doing their work on the color, um, sleeping quarters, mess, um, research lab, and so on um, and this is really a sort of like a, a scenario really for um, scientists characters um, because they could do their, basically follow their research um, and then we have on the back we've got the meteorite properties um, color properties and the color out of space and yes color out of space I was quite right um, it is the color out of space in space um, and then we have a very simple map on the back which is uh, airlock, quarters, mess, research lab, engines. So you've got engines on an asteroid. Um, and then uh, you have um, handouts 
so um, there we go. Let's just show you those. So there's one, there's the other, uh, and they're really kind of uh, they're really kind of difficult to read. Um, and so part of the preparation for this, of course, is going to be the player character, the, the, the referee taking this away and photocopying this uh, to hand to her players. Um, now, the um, yeah, the other thing, of course, with this is um, some preparation is going to be needed, just like any other scenario. Um, but um, as a one shot, uh, what what the player characters really need is a reason to get involved. Now, obviously, um, something like this is fairly easy to come up with. Okay, it's a research post. The uh, might, the, the corporation might send in a recovery team. Um, they might, but they, it might be a crew starship delivering um, what's it, a basic um, a supply run, um, or it might be a rival uh, corporation going in to grab the information to find out what they were researching. All that, all that. All that is all kind of um, easy to set up and motivations and so on and the referee should really just go through and prepare some characters a team who would actually go to this location and undertake the job um, that's not too difficult the great thing about the mothership uh, sci-fi horror role playing game is character generation is uh, really kind of handled on one page with um, a flow chart uh, you flow, follow basically the, you, and you just check off the locations going I want to play a scientist and that will send you over to one location that tells you to do this and so on and it's really really very easy um, so it shouldn't be too difficult to prepare and add some motiva individual motivations as well as sort of like motivations for the um, task itself uh, so yeah and then of course there is um, dangers there's some fallout on the front basically that describes um, what happens if the uh, colour is allowed to reach civilization. it wreaks havoc spreading exponentially and killing everything on its path if the colour can be safely retrieved it is worth um, 100 million credit to the right buyer uh, to destroy it requires an absurd amount of energy something on the scale of a black hole powerful people are looking for it so there you go there's the motivations into which uh, essentially the, the, you know the reasons which the player characters can have their motivations um, uh, attached uh, and this basically should provide say a good session's worth of play or so because um, you know and you, it's a m relatively minimal preparation uh, relatively easy also to adapt to um, the setting of the players sorry of the referee's choice or keeper's choice because obviously if you have a science fiction setting uh, with the mythos in it, perfect. Um, just drop that in and go. Um, it's everything. It's got everything there. And Call of Cthulhu has raised the stats for colours. So yeah, uh, chromatic transfer. Um, one shot adventure for um, Mothership. So uh, thank you very much for watching another unboxing in the nook. If you've enjoyed this, okay, please do click the like button down below. Um, and if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those and take the time to read them. And lastly, uh, if you want to be alerted to yet more uh, unboxings in the Nook, where you'll see me with some um, some packages, packages and some games, and you'll um, watch me uh, sit here and chat about a game, um, hopefully which I've never seen before, for uh, roughly ten minutes, or to the to the best extent of my knowledge. All accompanied, of course, by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, thank you once again for watching another unboxing in the look, and I'll be back again soon with another. Bye for now.